my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, the Star Claire Boyan. It's for returning guys, welcome to any newbies, really appreciate every one of you. Um, this is going to be a channeled message, just a general collective reading, um, but a channeled message. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. And don't forget these are energies as well, so you, this person can be um, a male, but embody the Queen of Swords and vice versa. So, you know, chuck out what you don't want. Right, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with a couple of channel messages with these cards here. So, Spirit, what channel message do you have for my lovely collective? I'm taking a break from everything so I can meditate and re release my old ways of thinking. This process is not easy, the hanged man. So this person feels stuck and they feel like they need to take a break from people and from situations uh, for pentacles. I don't like to share myself with others. I also hold on to things and relationships that do not serve me because I hate losing. Um, so basically the way, so this, this energy that I'm picking up on here um, they have a whole old habit of um, going into relationships and basically being a doormat or um, they hold on to people when they know that they're no good for them. Things or situations or even jobs, you know, friendships and that. Um, so, you know, they're taking a break at the moment. So this could be a friend, this could be a partner, this could be a loved one, it could be a sibling, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's have a look at, let's tell me more, spirit, please. Tell more about this person. Um, three of Wands and Six of Pentacles. The passion I have for you has opened my perspective to endless possibilities and I must prepare to face the challenges. So what it could be is that you've come along and you've opened their eyes to the way that they allow people to treat them or to walk all over them, you know, in relationships, friendships. Um, for some of you, this could be a friend. For some of you, this could be the start of a new love. Um, but you're showing them that, you know, there's there's other, there's, um, oh, God. Do you know what? Sometimes, honestly, I can't just get my words out. You know, just must slap yourself. You've opened their eyes and shown them that not everybody is like, this who they've dealt with through life that's what i was trying to get out um i don't know whether this person or you guys have a habit of like um forgetting what you say most of the time i am grateful for everything that you gave me and i want to give back 10 times more this this get the the, the skills will be balanced very soon this is the pentacle so they want an equal give and take here and they are not around you at the moment they are in hiding they are taking a break they get there's a lot of inner reflection going on with this person. Um, and they definitely want to give back to you, for, you know, what you've given to them. And like, you know, how you've been with them. Maybe they've been used in the past. Three of Pentacles. I want to include you in my projects. I want to collaborate with you in a financial way. I can see us as a power couple. So, yeah, they see you both as a, a power couple here. Like, you know... that. You could build a life together. Hang on. I'm looking for my cards. Tell us more about this energy spirit. Tell us about this channel message that's coming through. Tell us more about this person. What more do they want to say to the collective? Ancestral karma, they are clearing negative ancestral patterns that have passed down through generations. Don't rush the journey. Right, so like I said, this person's not around at the moment. And they're off sorting themselves out. And what the divine is saying is that this is being passed down through um, your their ancestors, you know. And hopefully they can break this karma, this cycle that, that their ancestors have always um, brought into the next life, you know, and, and giving it to the next generation. So it could be that, you know, 
not letting people take advantage of them, not being used, um, not being walked all over. Small, is this a uh, one you want to say? Healing, they're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bring it back, balancing. You know, this is what I love when, when you pull out different cards and they just keep saying the same, like, you know, basically saying the same thing. I just absolutely love it. Um, so basically they are healing at the moment. Like I said, trying to sort themselves out, trying to, I think trying to be better for you as well as themselves. Um, maybe they've got a lot of baggage in their life that they need to clear out to us. Oh. Okay. On the back of the deck, there's gossip, a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship and that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. Um, See, I don't believe that. I just think it's gossip at the end of the day. I think it's people in your rear collective trying to put you off of this person. Maybe there's some, some kind of jealousy here and they don't want you to be with this person. Um, Dark Knight, they're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with the new levels of love and love with themselves and the, and the connection. This is, this is fantastic. So they're becoming aligned with themselves. They could be doing a lot of meditation, you know, maybe cord cutting, and stuff if they're into all that the, <clears throat> the rival they chose someone else over you and though it wasn't what they wanted they thought it was the right thing to do um maybe that's why you guys are not in contact together maybe that's why i'm picking up that you two are not actually that they're away from you this is what i'm picking up this energy is actually away from you and this is their higher self talking to you at the moment trying to let you know what's going on so maybe in the past i did do a reading a few days ago about f a week ago or something like that that this i think maybe i've picked up the same energy again that keeps coming through for you guys um that they left you they they got influenced by friends and you know, like I said, they get they will get walked all over. Um, so they chose someone else over you, thinking it was a better option. But they now know that they that that is a big mistake that they've made is letting you go. Toxicity. Their toxic friendships. Are, what did I just say? There is a reading that I did of about four or five days ago. This is the same energy I've picked up on because I've got the same cards again. Their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your, your soul. No, but they are seeing the purity of your soul now. They do know that you are a genuine person, that you are a kind person. I'm surprised, I'd be surprised if the Empress don't come out for you guys or the Emperor. Um, but no, they were, they were influenced by friends and family, but they're not anymore. They're not going to be pushed around no more. They're, they're clearing this out unfounded fear they are afraid to trust trust and get hurt the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety and unable to act upon their love so there is a lot of fear surrounding this person but i do feel they will i've you know we'll look at the tarot but i do feel they're gonna they're gonna overcome that fear when it comes to you and they're gonna go for it oh missing you their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. We'll see. Foolish. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up this connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. You know, you may be angry when they do come forward, but you know, if they're they're man or woman enough, they'll uh, face you and you know own up to their crap that they put you through. Tell us more about this um, energy that's come through for the collective spirit. What else do they want to say to my lovely collective? Ten of Wands. Um, what they want to say is that that what they did to you causes them burdens every single day. They carry it around with them. It's constantly on their mind. You know, it's thoughts of you and everything, the hurt that they caused you and the pain that they caused you is with them all the time. You know, they could be sitting there watching TV and then, you know, they think of you 
and it just I'm feeling like a pressure on my chest you know when you feel so hurt by what you've done to someone that you really care about so this is how this person this is what this person wants you to know is that they are carrying that burden around with them every day I'm really spirit okay I've got a lot to say here <laughs> Right, we have three of swords. I'm not taking reversal, guys. My cards are just a mess at the moment. Chariot. Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. A couple here, guys. Ah, oh. And the Six of Cups. Oh, this is wonderful. And on the back of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So everything I'm telling you right now is truth and clarity. Um, So Spirit wants you to know that what you're hearing here is the truth um and that i'm right i love to be told when i'm right <laughs> such a big head um and also this is also you speaking your truth as well as them coming forward and speaking the truth and expressing how they feel and being truthful with you but this is this is lovely i'm loving this this is positive reading yesterday as well which makes a change um the three of swords is someone that is broken hearted they want you to know that they are so broken hearted that they broke your heart and they really didn't want to break your heart and there's a deep regret here all i keep getting is deep regret i'm sorry and they know they broke your heart but in the process they broke their own heart as well the chariot is forward movement some thinks um someone or something is coming towards you but i feel it's this person that's coming towards you and they're going to come towards you full speed ahead very quickly so be warned they're on their way they want a second chance with you this is the divine offering a second chance at abundance security financial stability you know a home life building a life together like this here with you know they want to be a power couple with you maybe you both got good jobs you know they want to start a family with you as well and then we've got the couple here, King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. These two are a couple. And I don't really get couples usually. I get like, you know, and don't forget these can be energies as well, like I said. So the King of Wands is very good looking. So you're both really, really good looking people. Because I'm sorry, the Wands, the King and Queen of Wands are the most good looking people in the deck. Energies in the deck, should I say. Um, well, this one makes sense about seeing you two as a power couple. You're both very career orientated, you know what you want, you go after it, and you're also very passionate about each other, is what I'm picking up. And this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo as well, so you both could be the same star sign here. Um, the King of Wands is confident, he's strong, he's very charming, as I said, sexy, and he's honest and he's very loyal. So this is describing this energy that's come through here. And they're very passionate about you as well. I mean, he's holding a wand here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just picking up passion here. They, they find you very sexy. Um, got to keep it PG. Queen of Wands, she's also holding a wand. So there's a lot of sexual chemistry between you two or there was between you two, but there still is between a pair of you. Um, the Queen of Wands, she's strong and passionate. She's independent, confident, sexy as well. Um, very fiery, Speaks up for, sticks up for herself, speaks her mind, doesn't take no bullshit. And then we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is all about reconciliations, guys, reunions, um, coming back together, being in love, this is lovely. I love this. I really do. Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm not going to go any further with this because I think this has turned out to be a beautiful reading. So, there you go. The ball's in your court, guys. So, you take care and you have a lovely Monday. And I'll see you soon. Bye.